Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to do a setup and a restore using the Trezor MultiShare backup. Now, I have a couple of Trezor devices here. I'm going to do a setup on the first one, and then after we've done that, I'll put a little Bitcoin in there and as a test, and then I will restore a second device using the uh, multi-share backup. Now, multi-share backups increase your security by allowing you to create multiple sets of backup words. So with Trezor, we'll be using their 20 word seed phrases, which is their new protocol called the SLIP39. Now, if this sounds a little strange that they've got their own protocol, I would remind you that it was Satoshi Labs that contributed greatly to the bit 39 protocols that we use for almost every hardware wallet. They uh, help devise the 24 and 12 word backup phrases. So it's not strange at all that Satoshi Labs would come out with a better protocol, the SLIP39, which uses a 20 word backup. These backups are much better because they use a smaller word space, so uh, they're easier to deal with. The words are also uh, very unique and different from each other, which is one of the pitfalls that people have with recording their BIP39 24 word seed phrases. A lot of the words are very similar and it's easy to make a mistake. And the 20 word backup has much better checksums uh, to verify that the user has indeed uh, written the words down correctly. So it's a much better protocol. And the 20 word backup phrase also supports multi-share phrases, which I'm going to demonstrate for you today. Uh, now, multi-share means that you can have several 20 word seed phrases uh, from a single backup. And what this does, it uh, allows you to hide the phrases in different locations. And if one seed phrase is discovered, it's not enough to restore the device or take your crypto. Um, in order to do a full restore, you need to have a certain threshold of backups in order to do the full restore. Now today, I'm gonna keep it simple and just do a two of three uh, multi-share, which means I'm going to create three seed phrases and two of them will be required to do a restore. Now you can get fancy and do uh, three of five or even five of seven, uh, but that uh, gets things a little too complicated for the average user. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Trezor device um, using a multi-share backup, and then I'll show you how to do the restore onto a new device um, using that multi-share backup. So let's jump in. All right, so I have my two devices here and I have several sheets of paper. I'm going to use my own paper to do the backups. Um, now, uh, these devices are uh, the same, but slightly different. Uh, this is a just a normal Trezor Safe 5. This is the Freedom Edition, just a special limited edition. But what's nice is I'll be able to tell them apart by the back. So what we're going to do is set this guy up. And after we've set it up and written down all our seed phrases, We'll put a little Bitcoin in there as a test, and then we'll do the restore on this device. Then when we're done with the restore, uh, we'll mount up this device. We'll check to make sure the Bitcoin is accessible, and then we'll be done. So the first thing we'll do is connect this device, and uh, we need to run the setup using Trezor Suite. Trezor Suite is required. Um, it recognizes that I have a device that was previously used, so um, it's just offer. You may not see this message, uh, but this is a reset device. But I'm going to go ahead and do the setup. Uh, the firmware is up to date. If the firmware is not up to date, you should run the firmware updates. They don't take very long. Just follow the instructions. All right. And then it's going to check the device and make sure it's a genuine Trezor device and that it has not been tampered with. Uh, so uh, we'll do that on the device. Uh, we'll tap to continue, and then we'll tap to confirm. Okay, it's going to run the uh, verification check. This is a cryptographic check to make sure that the uh, device is indeed genuine and has not been tampered with. 
This takes place in the secure element chip of the device. We'll hit continue here. I'm going to skip this tutorial. And uh, in today's case, we'll create a new wallet. And instead of using the default, we're going to use the multi-share. And uh, we'll click create wallet. And we'll continue on the device. All right, we'll tap to continue, hold to confirm. There's a little haptic feedback there. All right, and then the wallet was created. So it generated a random master private key for the wallet. And then uh, we'll tap to continue. And now it's telling me that the we need the backup. And so uh, we'll continue on to that. It's going to ask us to acknowledge some information about how backups work, how you should uh, make sure you don't lose them, and that no one else sees them. All right, and then we'll go back to the device. We'll tap to continue here. So we're going to set our number of shares. I think the default is five, but I'm, I'm just going to use three uh, for the sake of simplicity during this video. Um, if you want to use five, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, the, the number of shares is five. I'm going to take that down to three. Uh, the threshold, this means the number of shares needed to do a successful restore. Um, you could do three of three, but uh, I'm going to do two of three. That gives us a little leeway. That means someone could find one and they wouldn't be able to do a restore. For yourself, you could afford to lose one. So um, if it gets lost, damaged, uh, you know, water damage, burned, or whatever. Um, as long as you have two, you'll be able to do your restore. So uh, we'll go ahead and start. Uh, some more information. Don't take pictures of them. All that good stuff. So uh, we're going to do three backup phrases of 20 each. So a um, little bit tedious, but uh, we'll get through it. Now, uh, when I'm done with this demo, I'm just going to wipe these wallets clean. I'm going to transfer the crypto out and wipe the wallets clean. So there won't be anything in these configurations. I'll do resets. So that way I can show you the words. I'm not going to go through the trouble of blurring out all the words uh, for the sake of clarity so you can see what's happening. And plus, it's a pain for me to go back through my videos and blur the words out. So I'm going to show you the words. Don't be alarmed. Um, you're welcome to try to do the restores if you want to, but there won't be any crypto left in the wallet. We'll start off. We'll call this one uh, Backup 1. All right, so uh, we'll just write the words. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to start a new sheet. Oh, they want us to do a quick check. So it says share number one, and I select word two of 20. So word two of 20 is survive. All right, and then it wants me to choose t word 12 of 20. Word 12 of 20 is radar. Then it wants uh, word 16 of 20, that's buyer. And then we're done. Share one is complete. All right, so uh, let's do this one. All right, same drill as before. Word number three will always be academic in these. It's just a checksum. All right, uh, we've completed that. Let's do our check. That one's uh, five of 20. That's again. All right, now it wants 14 of 20. That's divorce. Then it wants 18 of 20. That's purple. Share number two is complete. All right. Now we've got share number three. Funny, payroll was the first word in all of these. Must be a checksum. So was uh, survive also the third. Okay. All right. So we'll hold to confirm. Let's do our quick check. What do they want? 6 of 20, that's terminal. They want 14 of 20, that's rebuild. 
and they want 18 of 20, which is clogs. Uh, share number three is now complete. All right, and then we'll do that confirmation. Well, I thought I was only doing three, but uh, apparently I did. I accidentally did four, but uh, we'll live. <laughs> okay. Now I need to set my pin. Now we do that on our device. Okay. And once we've set the pin, we can continue. Um, we'll just uh, leave the uh, defaults. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Base, Solana, and Cardano. We can add more if we want, or we can uh, take one off by clicking on it. But I'll just leave them there. We'll do complete setup. We'll go to the Trezor Suite. And uh, there we are in the dashboard. Okay, and now we're ready here. So we've got these different accounts set up over here. We can access them from over here as well. Uh, I want to put a little Bitcoin in here. So I'm going to click Receive Bitcoin. Um, in order to show the full address, I need to confirm on the device. There it is. Shows me the address. I can tap to continue and tap to confirm. And then uh, I can see the address here. All right. So I'm just going to go over to my Coinbase account. All right, I've got a little Bitcoin in my Coinbase account, so we're just going to send that out. And uh, we'll paste in the address of our Trezor wallet. All right, we'll confirm that. Sending it on the Bitcoin network. And I'll just go ahead and send it all. It's just a small test amount. Remember, if you're sending uh, crypto, please do small test transactions. And now we'll just wait for it to hit the wallet. Okay, so you can see now that the Bitcoin has hit the wallet. Uh, so now that we've established that, what I would like to do is uh, do a restore. All right, and as I mentioned, uh, I have this other device here, um, my uh, Freedom Edition, Limited Edition, uh, basically the same uh, type of device. And uh, I'm going to do a restore on this device. So we'll just disconnect this one. Now I get a lot of questions about, hey, when I do a restore on a new device, what happens to the old device? Well, the old device continues to operate as it would normally, and the two devices are now interchangeable. They can both manage the same wallets. They're mirror copies of each other. Um, so if you have an older device and you've migrated over to a newer device, you can continue to use the old device. It still works. Or... You can throw it away if you don't want to use it anymore. You can wipe it clean by doing a reset, and then you can safely dispose of it. So now I'm going to connect this guy, and I've got my backups here. Now, if you recall, I was trying to create a, a two of three backup. It ended up uh, having me create four backups, so I must have made a little typo. But I'm assuming that um, it's still uh, I still require at least two of them. So um, let's see, we'll just use, uh, let's say, uh, number two and number four. We'll see how that goes. All right, so uh, we'll hide all four of them in safe locations and in separate locations, but we need at least two of them to do our restore. Any two will work. We just need at least two of them. All right, so uh, I've got the device uh, connected. Let's see what Trezor Suite is asking. Um, it sees the device, um, and it knows that I've used it before, so uh, I'm going to say, uh, yes, we'll go ahead and use this. And then uh, we'll run the firmware updates. Actually, I'm going to skip firmware, just in the interest of time. I'll go back and do that later. Uh, let's hit start now. It's going to do the integrity check. Of course, we need to confirm that on the device. Swipe up, and then tap to confirm. So you'll notice that uh, the, authentic the authentication check happens first. Um, several people have asked me this question. Um, I want to make sure that my device is authentic and genuine before I restore one of my seed phrases on there. 
Uh, so you can see that that part happens first before we start entering the seed phrase. We'll skip this tutorial. And now we're going to do a recover. All right, so we'll hit start recovery. And we're going to use a wallet backup. And we'll confirm that on the device. We'll swipe up. And uh, our backup has 20 words. And uh, it wants us to enter each word in order. All right, so uh, we'll just start typing the words. We'll start with backup number four just to see how that works. Uh, the first one is payroll. So uh, we're gonna have to use like the old phones did. We're gonna tap this, since we've got N-O-P-Q, I'm gonna tap three times to get P, one, two, three. There's P, and then payroll is one tap, and uh, Y is three taps. And then the last one is an R. So as soon as I've tapped in four, it knows the word, right? Because there's a limited number of words in the acceptable list. So I'll just tap that word. Now it wants two of 20. So I'll just go through each word. There's S and then U and then R and then V. And it, as soon as I tap the key, it knows I was looking for the V. It just completed it for me. So I'll just tap there. And so we'll just continue on with all 20 words. Okay, so um, as soon as I finished entering the first phrase, it wants a, uh, it needs one more phrase. Um, now, like I said, I can choose any of the other phrases that I want. Um, after I've entered one, I need at least two. So I'm going to use two. That's what we said. That's what we talked about from the beginning. So I'll use number two. We'll swipe up and then we'll just enter the second phrase. All right, so now it says the wallet recovery was completed. We'll swipe up. And now I need to set my pin. You can set the same pin or a different pin. It doesn't matter. Just remember your pin. We'll go ahead and complete setup. And we'll go to Trezor Suite. And notice there it's got the Trezor Safe 5 Freedom Edition. So we've got our Trezor Safe 5 connected. Notice that it sees that it's that uh, Freedom Edition. It's got the color of the uh, back there. We've got our uh, Bitcoin in here and ready to roll. And so we've done a successful restore uh, out of a two of four. I wanted it to be two of three, but uh, I've got four seed phrases and I need at least two to do my restore. I can use any of the two. So I can afford to lose two of them. And if someone finds one, there's nothing they can do to do the restore. They would need at least two. So it adds to security, adds a little bit of complexity, and uh, adds a little more time to the restore process. But uh, for the upped security, uh, it's a pretty good trade-off. So that's a setup and a restore using a multi-share backup on the Trezor Safe 5. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.